Hey folks, Quillyteen here and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play RimWorld 1.0 Super Unstable Beta in Development Edition where everything changes between every single game. Uh, <laughs> it's been a couple of days since I played. Uh, as far as I can tell, I don't remember everything we had researched, but I don't think we lost anything this time around research wise. Maybe we'll discover something as we go, but I think uh, that balance hasn't changed. We did just survive a raid in the last episode. We've got ourselves a prisoner over here, the barcode name person. Maybe that's supposed to be ill. I kind of like the idea that it's just a barcode name though. Uh, and we are gonna try to recruit them, I believe. Yeah, relatively recruitable. No serious health problems other than the infection, which he is ahead of the immunity right now. So that might not work out, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I think for our own people, we're okay. Zambezi has a medical emergency status, but it's because of the extreme blood loss. You are all patched up, so I think you're going to be okay. Uh, did go ahead uh, in the comments last time. Someone said, hey, maybe put a light in here. There's a lot of traffic in this room, and um, people move slower in the dark. Oh, no, infection. No, Zambezi got an infection. And we still don't have real medicine. This is a bit of an issue. Who's our best medic? Bamsabus, the absent-minded professor, and then Prak, both of which are injured. I want you to go. Oh, you're tending already. Okay, good. Just tend instantly to try to work towards the infection status. Where is the infection? Is this the body part we want to cut off? Shoulder. Man, oh 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 man. Hey, since when do they have the extra decimal for the infection rate? Okay, looks like immunity is going first. That's good. Got a flash fire. We're gonna have or flash storm. We're gonna have some fire. It is raining still though currently, so that should mostly be okay, I think. This is all properly indoors. Yes, it is good. Um, I went and removed the kibble from being something that's allowed in the storage. So at some point, a hauler will go and move that out for us. I also removed the hay from this. Now hay can technically spoil, but it is gonna take a while before that happens. So it can really be somewhere else to save a little bit of storage space. Okay, fire, but that's out again. That's okay. We're fine. Power should be okay unless they change the balance on the uh, generators again. Right now, we're okay. Oh, you've taken a little bit of damage. I think you got hit by a lightning strike over here. Practice checking out a statue. You're also feeling a lot better, which is nice. Are you fully healed? Yeah. Yes, you've got a scratch scar, but that's going to be fine. Zambezi. Come on, buddy. 20% immune. Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. Good, good, good. You should be fine. I'm not sure about ill over here. I guess it's not the worst case scenario if they die. Immunity's just behind, but I think it's probably going to be a fail. If we have any medicine, although we don't, like maybe it's worth investing there. I think you get a little bit more immunity development that way, but I don't think you've got it. Lem Gardner's fully healed. Waiting for Bamsabus, who's injured, but running around. That's going to be okay. You're, you're fully you're fully dealt with. You're going to doctor things and you go back to doing some research things, which is going to be fine. So some things are going to get shuffled around. You're going to replace the heater. Then a lot of fire over here. But we don't have... It's not the grassiest area still. So the ability for the fire spread will all, will still be a little bit nervous. Zambezi's going to be up. Okay, you're moving to rest over here, which is good. More rest equals better immunity gain. You will move to the hospital for that. We might want to throw on some cleaning here. I might want to just grab someone like Lem and say, Hey, could you... Yeah, yeah. Prioritize cleaning some blood. We may have to... Oh, it's pretty clean over there. Okay. Ill is no longer incapable of walking. Yeah, but... Should we... Oh, the immunity is gaining! Let's say, should we cut off the leg? We're far away from real bionics or anything like that, but it may have actually been worthwhile. Still... pain yeah um you actually might be okay 10 quality 58 percent to the infection i think the immunity is gaining i think you'll be okay so we still have fire over here now it's going to keep spreading a little bit is this what is this metal tile that we can deconstruct and get a little bit of metal back it's probably worth doing although maybe not now Um, we could expand the home zone, but I don't know if I'm super concerned about doing that. We've got someone wearing tattered apparel. We'll just have to get back to it. An adventurer is passing by named Pan. Do we want to kidnap Pan? 
Trigger happy chemical fascination. You're good at shooting. You actually got a lot of passion for different things. Do we arrest him? What's his gear? He does have a gun. But we might still be able to get him. That's tempting. Do we do it? Do we do it? Break it. Let's do it. Let's grab all the healthy people. Just come over here. We want a crowd around here. I mean, he might turn out to be, like, super hard to actually recruit in the end. I don't know if this works better with someone who's got high melee. Alright, practice. You're gonna try to arrest Pan. Yeah, alright, so that didn't work out exactly as good as I might want. You're gonna go ahead and melee attack. And you're probably already melee attack. We're gonna do that. I don't think he's gonna be able to shoot us if we keep punching him. A little bit rude. Minus 75% goodwill. Yeah, so... Oh no, we beat him to death. We're murderers! Oh no! This is not what I wanted to have happen! <laughs> oh. Whoopsie daisy. Alright. Any serious injuries from that? <laughs> I think we just got... Uh, bruised, crushed, crushed kidney. Wow, and bleeding a little bit. Probably like internal bleeding. But you'll get some treatment. You'll be fine. It'll give us more of a chance to uh, work on our healing or something. Mm. We need another round of rain here is what we need. Ill, how you doing? Uh, health, infection, 81% versus 75. Yes, you're going to be fine. You're good. You're good. Zambezi, you're going to go beat the fire out. Oh, it, oh no, there's your infection. Immunity is well ahead. All right, you're moving slow as hell. Maybe we want to turn off your firefighting for a bit. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to expand the home zone over to here. And these trees, because that'll keep spreading and be kind of annoying. Uh, I'm going to quickly reset everyone. Just go on mass. Help deal with this fire. Medical emergency. That's ill over here. Well, someone will go and treat you soon just going to try to give ourselves a little bit more of a barrier. If the fire wants to keep spreading that way, that's okay. But, yeah, these trees could be annoying if they kept going. Uh, you're going to have a meal, and then go and... Keep beating this stuff out, man. No? Really? Was that not home zoned right there? Oh! Whoops. Okay. Someone will, someone will go and take care of it. funny if the bear caught fire and then like I don't know we get some cooked bear meat mmm I've had bear it's actually not that delicious but I've had had it plenty of bear hunters around here okay that's been put out oh and now it's raining so I could have probably just chilled on it but I didn't know so I don't want this to be a home area anymore okay and over here we're gonna keep filling this in Structure, wall, slate, boom. Okay. Keep working on that. Now, prisoner. Yeah, resistance remaining. So, if this is resistance based now for breaking people down, like, or with that number, like, does it eliminate the, the, the whole, like, failing a million times in a row at a 5% chance? I wonder. Or maybe you can't recruit them at all until the resistance is gone. Either way, I'm betting it probably leads to a, a more transparent and less frustrating system. We're going to turn this on because we actually do have some bodies to burn. We got some stuff sitting around outside that would be good to uh, to haul in as well. But people are pretty busy in getting around to the hauling. Um, Prakis is the one who would be hauling if he were not currently in the hospital over here. Bruised from trying to arrest someone that didn't work out at all. I feel, I feel pretty guilty. We need some more plasteel. I think we've got the gold. We just need the plasteel to finish that up. And we still never found any. We did find more steel over here. So, shaman merchant. Hello. Who's our chief talker? Prob probably practice our leader, but he's currently injured. So we'll get Lem to go over here and do some trading. I don't know what they're going to have or what they're going to be interested to buy, but there's a lot of stuff we're interested to sell. Boom, 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 boom. Where's Lem? Get in there. Oh, pathfinding is hard. Uh, we're not going to buy monkeys. 
I don't think we need to buy pemmican. We will buy probably all the neutromine because we're working towards drug production and medicine production and all that. And they don't sell it overpriced, which is going to be good. We'll sell the psychite tea. They do sell plasteel. I'll keep the gold. I don't know if we need this much. How much can this can we buy? We might want to buy all the plasteel and then go down on the amount of neutromine we buy. Because we can use the plasteel for a few different things, including prosthetics. Well, again, I don't remember what's in base um, RimWorld when it comes to prosthetics and bionics as opposed to all the mods that I run. Okay, so this is all our st all of our silver, but I think it's going to be well worthwhile. Let's go and do that. Okay. You're butchering some llamas that we had hunted previously. That's fine. You're making some meals. We've got our lights in there. Relationships improved a little just by virtue of the fact that we have traded. That's very nice. Zambezi has fixated his rage on Bambus. He's going to follow Bambus's, Bamsabus around hurling insult. It's just rude. All right, but there we go. We get our multi-analyzer, which is going to increase our research rate and give us more research options as well. So Bams of Us is just going to feel miserable. Insulted. I'm hoping it's stopped in times four. Soaking wet as well. It might start a, a social fight. Yeah, now you're in a terrible mood. Minus 20. Eight without a table. We've got plenty of tables around. We've got a pretty dining room. Oh my god. Just sitting there. Oh, we got a mad hair. Looks like a mad hatter. It still keeps stacking. I'll set you to be a, a hunt on. Oh, these guys are going to have to deal with that. Okay. <laughs> watch watch the, the rabbit. The hair takes someone out. Okay. No, we're good. Everything is fine. We have the breathe that's going to have to get hauled at some point. Again, Prakis is going to be our chief hauler once Prakis is fully healthy. Are you still insulting? My god, you're such a... You're such a shit. Okay. You've developed immunity. Hooray. So you're going to be fine soon. Seriously, Zambezi. Okay, you're finally done. Wow. How bad did it get? 10 insults. You just got roasted. Let's uh, force you to re... No, all right, never mind. I'm going to get you to reset your task, so maybe you do something to keep yourself happy, because you're probably going to have another breakdown. You're still in serious pain. You got a cracked spine. You're going to be okay, though. Confusion. Okay, confusion is sort of kind of fine. That's just the Alzheimer's triggering. Um, I don't know if that's going to trigger a... What is it? Catharsis buff? But it might buy us some time while the Insulted starts to wear out. And Bamsabus won't flip and do something else while confused. So it might be okay. Maybe she'll go straight to bed after this. And again, we'll just buy us more time without things snapping. All right, we're getting some more critters over here, which is all good and fine. Some of the hay is still growing. What's the season? 6th of September. Excellent. We've got plenty of crops, plenty of food. No longer confused, but you're on extreme break risk. But at least you'll have a nice, a fine meal eating at a table in a decent dining room. It's a little bit bloody. And you're going to go back to researching. Urgh. I would prefer to... I don't know what to do with you. Whatever. Just let it be. All right, you're being fed another meal. How's your resistance? 11.5. Some dirt around. It looks like it still move a little slower through the doorway. I guess it just has a different movement rate, even with the door being opened. That might be the case. Because they're not being delayed by the door opening and closing. That I'm pretty confident about. Practice is fully healed. Good. Because you're going to go back to doing a bunch of hauling. Like hauling dead bodies. But yeah, we have the cremator open. Which is actually something else that practice should, could do. You know what? I'm going to get you to prioritize doing cremation over here. Just to make sure these bodies go away. It is, it is definitely time for it. We can always turn off the cremator after this. So you're going to be pretty miserable from seeing all the rotting corpses. And it does stack fairly aggressively as well. But at least then there won't be any more. You've got ratty apparel. Holes in my outfit are annoyingly large. Can I get something new to wear? Hopefully. Broken down cooler. You're going to cremate that body. There might be some more around here. I'm just going to keep monitoring practice. You're burning apparel. Okay, that is not as important. I will power this off. Someone will get to it. So it's just burning, like, dead man's apparel or really shoddy apparel that we don't want to keep around. Um, I'm going to let him, like, keep doing it. I'm not going to stop him for now because it's just a way to clean some things up. Um, but at some point, that'll get turned off, and then that'll be okay. So it's still bam. Okay, luckily, you're finally asleep. 
So that's going to help to burn off a little bit more of the insulted. You're also going to feel better because of the rest. Although, still not that great. Having a little meal, so you're going to complain about eight without a table, because of course. <laughs> like, should I put a table in everyone's bedroom? Like, come on! Practice, what you up to? Are you still burning apparel? Really? Okay, I'm gonna reset you. You can you can just do whatever. Cause again, the hope we like we'll ideally be able to sell some of that stuff, but I'm I'm still okay with having the burning job set up in general. There's more confusion. Because if we don't sell it right away, then it's worth just um uh, just burning to keep the, the space open. Okay, resistance remaining continues to drop. You're gonna go and have a rest over here, which is fine. Bam's wandering in confusion, which is also okay. We could butcher a few more of the chickens. I don't know if we need to rush that. I'm going to try to keep the male population under control. Research is currently happening towards hospital beds. Uh, not that we're going to be able to build them until we've got more medicine. So medicine production is going to be the thing. That's done over there. Medicine production we already have, actually. So we can really start working on that. Now, I don't know if there was any more of the lower level stuff we were particularly uh, interested in. We can now go up on the higher tech stuff, including all the deep drilling and things, vitals monitor. I think I'm going to unlock prosthetics. At the very least, the base level one so we can make peg legs and stuff is probably a really good idea. So, medis medical production, drug production, drug lab. Get you in here and we'll get a comfy chair because that's always important. Nice wooden dining chair. Boom, over there. And yeah, we'll get some drug production. You're working on the assault rifle. And we've got the tailoring bench over here. Make parka. Pants button down shirt, cowboy hat. So the tattered apparel, what are you wearing that you don't like? It's the t-shirt. But presumably, there is another shirt. I mean, it's a button-down shirt, admittedly. But we do have one. We don't count anything that has less than 60% hit points. So we have a button-down shirt somewhere in here that has at least 60% hit points. This one over here. So why are you wearing this? Why are you complaining about your tattered apparel? Bondmate as well. It's the synth thread pants. Which again, we must have pants. I mean, should I put a t-shirt job in here or something? I don't I don't know. See what happens when you wake up. Maybe maybe it's because of the state of things and you were busy doing other things. Maybe you just haven't done a clothing redo. Let me force you awake. And you. I'm going to monitor you. You're hauling some stuff. Hooray. Good. Fine. You're hauling kibble. Having a beer. Why aren't you getting dressed? I don't know what they're... How they prioritize this stuff. It's really weird. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe it's because, hold on. They're not forced to drop tattered stuff. I could do that. I could say, listen, you're not allowed to wear anything under 50% hit points. That's probably it. And maybe they don't auto change it. So bam over here. If I reset you, okay, you're gonna eat a meal. And practice was the other one, right? You're relaxing over here. Oh, I guess all the chairs were used. We probably need to build more chairs. You're gonna go back to researching. Still about to break. Hauling, hauling, hauling. Maybe you just reevaluate your clothing from time to time. Oh, catatonic. Eight without table. Oh, good. So you're going to be catatonic for several days. Unforbid that. Um, I guess what I should do, first of all, is I should move this statue to maybe there. And we'll, re we'll build two more chairs over there. We'll start with just the one. 
But yeah, I mean, I think you would have broken anyway because the insult. It's like, it tells us what the last straw is, but she was going to break from something regardless. So the fact that she ate without a table isn't the thing that actually did it. Oh, we're having some power issues from time to time. Now the cremator, no, you are off. Huh. I guess maybe it's just with temperature changes and things like that, which probably means we need more power. Let's get this bad boy set up over here. Get another geothermal. Blam over there. We'll get some flooring down. We'll use, um... Oh. It's a different flagstone. It's not as beautiful. It yields no resources. It doesn't need skill, but no. Okay, so we'll use slate tile. A little one by one little edge over there. And then after that, it's going to be a two by two on the outside. Might have been easier for me to visualize it if I built the walls first, but I don't know. Structure, slate walls, boom, boom. Like that, and it will be a heavy duty slate door right in there. And then some power conduits which are going to run thusly. Cancel. And we might run a secondary line somewhere afterwards, but yeah, we'll get that started for some more power. Bam's Cantatonic, so I guess we're not going to get into research for a while, but I don't know, I guess that'll be okay. We do have the hospital bed tech now, right? Yes, we do. So just steel is fine. And we're going to want a couple there. And we'll probably replace this one. And then we'll get the monitors and things like that going on. And that's going to make a big, big difference. Okay, so we have a lot of construction jobs set up, but that's I think that's fine. Tons of still, stuff ne still needs hauling, just practice. Oh, you're not complaining about your clothes anymore. You must have changed somewhere along the way when I missed it. Good, okay. I think that's going to be better. We still have the orders for this, which actually is probably, yeah, some of the jobs have opened up because the pants and the button-down shirts have been picked up. So we definitely need some more. Minifest is asleep right now broken down heater just as I'm staring at it. You're gonna go drink some beer and hauling some stuff. So yeah, the auto haul behavior has clearly been folded into the base game, which makes me so happy. That like, oh, I'm, I'm happy to walk from point A to point B and there's something that I can sort of haul in this general direction. So I will do it. That's good. You're gonna visit the grave way over there, but there's one right here. I mean, I guess it's not that far. Sure, fine. And then you're gonna cook some meals, okay. I was just paying attention to the Minifest because he's also one of our crafters over here and I was curious, kind of curious as what was going on. Ill, how's your resistance? 6.1. And I mean, you will be a little bit unhappy because you're naked. You're also hungry right now. Ravenously hungry. Uh, wardening. Let me wake you up. Yeah, uh, you're going to feed the Bams of us, but you should go and feed the prisoner soon, right? Yes, there we go. Okay, good. That didn't seem great. You just drop it on the floor. Less of a feeding. A food poisoning from dirty cooking area. Really? Okay. We do need to get our cleaning back up again. I think I'm going to do the thing where I, I do... Again, it might be a temporary thing. I don't know. But set cleaning to be a relatively high priority. We've got a lot of mess. The prisoner room itself is fairly messy as well. But the cooking area, yeah, we need to keep all this kind of neat. We're getting bad thoughts from ugly areas and things. Resistance got dropped from 6.1 to 4.5. So presumably they're unrecruitable until then, but I'm hoping that the recruit chance is just generally easier than before. More food poisoning from the dirty cooking area. Yeah, that's that's gotten to be a bit of a problem. Another slate wall constructed over there. It's gonna be fine. Hospital beds. Wait a minute. Didn't hospital beds used to need medicine to build? Oh my, they got rid of that. That's wonderful. Although, speaking of medicine, <clears throat> drug lab over here, make medicine. We need crafting plus intellectual, and no one's got it right now. Okay, well. That's just going to have to be the way it's going to have to be. I guess for the uh, smoke leaf joints, we can just set sort of a do forever. And this is going to be a do until we have X, but X is going to be... Let's try to keep 50 medicine. Yeah, that's going to be okay. And yeah, so there's no one with a combination of both crafting and doctoring. I mean, we could sort of try to cross train someone, but it'd be a little awkward. We may just have to wait until we get lucky enough to recruit the right person. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the right thing to do is. 
you're hauling three whole hay at a time. Ooh. Ah, oh, right. They're eating a little bit of hay and then you're moving some over in a very kind of unoptimal way. Like the second something gets eaten. Kind of a useless hauling job. Don't know. Hmm. I don't know, man. Taking some beer out, you're feeding Bams of us. Yeah, we may we may want to do something different. I might just want like a bigger hay stockpile over here to avoid some of those issues. Might not matter. Puppy was helping to haul things. Thank you very much. That's lovely. You're asleep. Practice. You're hauling some more kibble over here too. And then you're gonna go for your rest. That's fine. Bonjame is our night owl. You're carrying some beer. It's nice to have some of that. And you're gonna go clean some dirt. See these little smattering of dirt cleans. This is what annoys me a little bit. Like lots of walking for a tiny bit of cleaning kind of over and over. Cleaning trash, something must have rotted out. I don't know. And that's why like I keep thinking maybe cleaning in bursts is, is more optimal. Like set it to two. Okay, now bring everything down to a three again and then wait for things to get dirty and then set it to two. I mean, yeah, I think that's more efficient time-wise, but it does mean we have dirt sort of lingering around for an extended period of time sometimes, which isn't great. We might be out of components, I just realized. I think that might be the case. Now, I think we still have some mineable components. Actually, there's some pretty close right over here. Uh, we've probably flagged most of it. There's some over there. We're digging this out, which is okay for now. We'll probably get some insects there later, but I guess we'll just have to deal with that when we get there. Danger zone of some kind. More compacted machinery. So we've got some more machinery in the walls. Researching prosthetics right now, which I guess is okay. Fabrication. Ranging from component assembly to power armor construction. So some of this is new. We will need fabrication for bionics. I'll, I'll finish the prosthetics. I think that's fine because again, we might need an emergency pug leg or something. But yeah, I think we'll go to fabrication after that. And perhaps look into component construction. I wonder if they changed the cost of building the construction lab, which needed like 30 components and sort of sucked. I don't know. So mini fast. Yeah, you're going to go clean vomit over here. See, there's a lot of running back and forth for the cleaning. Okay. I mean, I could just keep one person on who's going to be running back and forth all the time for cleaning in an optimal way, and at least everyone else is okay. Minifest needs to do too much. He needs to cook, he needs to craft, and apparently he also needs to construct. Although he's not alone with some of this construction over here, because he doesn't specifically need a skill, so that's going to be okay. Before I forget, do not roof this area, because we don't want this thing to overheat. Set itself on fire. Hauling steel to the hospital bed. Okay, so I mean, you're doing a sort of jobs at random. Oh, we do have components! Oh, never mind. Okay, so just people hadn't gotten around to it. Okay, I mean, we might still not have infinite components, but doom. Excellent. Good quality bed. Lovely. Are you a higher constructor? Actually, we have all pretty good constructors. 12, 11, 11. Minifest is actually lower to 10. Lem, I'm going to get you to try to build the other bed. I want to try to ensure the highest possible skill so that we get a higher quality bed out of it. Eh, only normal, but that's okay. Excellent bed over here. I'm going to deconstruct this normal bed. That's excellent here. That one's normal. I will deconstruct this one as well. We'll move this excellent bed into there. And bam, it doesn't matter what bed you're in. You're just catatonic. Oh, bam. We need you back. We need you back for some research. Okay, working on this. Good, groovy. Random guns kicking around. And I think this storage we'd ensured at least good quality stuff, but there's we've got plenty of weapons. Actually, it's a good idea for us to go and check who's not armed. Zambezi's not currently armed, so let's get you to grab. There's a poor quality assault rifle. Assault rifles are still pretty good. I don't want shotguns, that's for sure. I suppose this is a good machine pistol. So that'll be okay. It doesn't have the same range, but it ain't bad. Anyone else not armed? Bam, but you're catatonic, so that's okay. And the, the, the revolver, it doesn't shoot very fast, but it does have great range. Oh, you're up! Hooray! Extreme break risk. You're changing your clothes. And then you're probably desperately hungry and bored. Yeah. You're going to change your clothes. You're going to consume a fine meal while sitting down. Lovely. Let's get another chair over here. Excellent. And then you're just having some fun over here. That's going to be good, too. And you're going to go back to research. Lovely. How you feeling? 
Your mood is increasing quickly. You did get catharsis from being catatonic, and you're no longer feeling insulted. So yeah, your mood's going to be good for a while here. Excellent. I don't know if you could have broken while the mood was still down here, even though it was supposed to go over here. That would have been really annoying. I don't know if you can break again while you've got catharsis. There might be some game code thing in there just to prevent back-to-back -back breakdowns. That's sort of kind of how I would do it, just to avoid really weird situations from forming. Normal, normal, good, normal. It would have been nice to get some higher quality stuff. That's a poor chair. Let's go ahead and deconstruct that one. Bam, okay, you're going for a rest. I mean, you've just been asleep for several days. Well, I guess catatonia is not asleep. You could be awake, your eyes open, but just non-responsive. Still, you've been lying in bed for several days. Really need to go sleep now? Hmm. Yeah, we got some more good weapons. But yeah, selling a bunch of these weapons would be a good source of money, especially since we just spent all of our silver. So, Bonjame, what are you doing during the day? Oh, you're, or during the night. Playing some horseshoes, uh-huh. Bam's up, prosthetic is done. Okay, we're going for fabrication now. Excellent. Bam's not actually idle, we're just gonna reset her job real quick so that she realizes there's new there's new research assembled. We do have a, oh, what is this? Small AI core housing low grade subpersona specialized in teaching technology. When used, the AI will teach you technology you're currently researching instantly and for free. It can only be used once. How do I actually use it? Oh, like that. 4,000. Actually, other than these things, this is one of the most expensive techs. You know what? Let's use it right away. Boom. Fabrication is done. Neat! Advanced fabrication for advanced components and other materials and stuff. Let's get the... You know what? Let's... Deep drilling? Into ground penetrating scanner? Perhaps. Let's do that. Now production fabrication bench you're new you're huge you need 12 components and two advanced components also you need a ridiculous amount of space still this might be i think this is okay people can walk around it and that way it gets the bonus of this thing we'll go ahead and shrink zone removing that little tile there and we'll put down a comfy chair but we don't have advanced components, so we'll have to purchase some to be able to build this. I'll put it down now anyway. It'll reserve the steel into components, and I think that's probably wise. So it doesn't need as many just plain components. It doesn't need 30 components anymore. But I'm willing to bet the advanced components basically are the same as adding a bunch more components in there. But with the caveat that we can't just, you know, dig them up. We're going to have to trade for them. Hmm... Putting that down, we got the chair. Oops, no, not forbid the chair. I want to specify. Oh, that's a sculpture that was unfinished. There you go, it's gonna be moved over there. Is this just our stockpile for unfinished sculptures? I guess so, which is fine. Okay. So we can't have everyone make medicine. We can't work on the new components yet. Oh, uh, this bed here is gonna get, oops, cancel. Reinstall that right there. You're unowned, but technically ill. That's yours. Do we have to? You're already stripped. How can we strip you again? Aren't you naked? Oh, you got pants on. Okay. There you go. That got moved. Good. Infection chance multiplier from room 50%. I might want to get... I should probably get another hospital bed in here. And we should get Lem to work on it right away. And this can probably just be deconstructed. For the size of our people, like three hospital beds, a, hot, a dirty cooking room, that's probably from previously cooked food. For the size of our colony, three hospital beds, I mean, if we've got more than three people needing to be in the hospital at the same time, we're kind of in trouble. And we've got extra beds anyway. Like, it could certainly happen, like where literally everyone is injured at the same time, but, you know, hopefully not critically. This is this is probably going to be sufficient. Did you use some more components to do that? But that's okay. Prisoner's resistance has been broken by practice. Recruitment attempts will become soon. Interesting. Okay, we got good, normal, good. I think that's going to be fine. I mean, you know, higher quality would have been more comfy for our, our, our patients, but I'm going to be kind of okay with that. Got tons of kibble, tons of hay. Got more eggs. We could expand our barn. Actually, and that might not be a terrible idea, just to be able to have more stuff going on. 
because we can obviously support a larger animal population. And that's not a bad thing. Struck compact machinery. Hey, nice. Probably want to haul that stuff out of the way. We'll flag that to be mined. I wonder if the odds of there being anything here is pretty low. Like we might, if there is another like chunk of ore, there's a good chance it'll overlap something. So I don't think we need to keep doing like a million tunnels. We don't have to like obliterate the entire mountain every time. No one's gotten around to doing the slate here. We may not have any slate blocks kicking around anymore, but the crafting should happen. So you're asleep, Bunjamate. You're doing some little hauls and stuff, which I guess is fine. It looks like you're actually stacking things within the same stockpile, which is interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen this behavior. Huh. Yeah. And then you're doing a little cleaning, which is still set to priority three. So Bonjamate actually did like run out of stuff to do. You cook, you you hunt, which we don't have anything flagged. You haul, you clean. If you get to the point where you do some mining, oh, why are you forbidden? Let me do a quick little uh, unforbid all. You're currently frozen. Oh, it's minus one outside. You do cook. I know you want to drink beer, but I'm going to get you to do some butchering, actually. Because we know there's at least one thing that you can butcher, so please do that. Boom, 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 boom. Let's make our butchering a little faster with the light. And you're going to go and butcher something else. What the heck? I mean, again, I had the forbidden stuff. There might be something going around hunting and, and hurting things. Okay, the auto door is fine. It still works as a normal door, and someone will come around to fix it. Anything else going to get butchered after this? <gasps> New recruit! Hooray! We've recruited Ill, whose name is still very entertaining to me. But just like, um, what, what was it named? Torn, torn Asunder? I think keeping around someone named Ill, like if Ill had died from infection, that would have been very appropriate. But we're going to no longer sort of um, uh, tempt fate, I guess is the way I want to say it. So we're going to rename Ill. You're going to be Dark Elp. Or dark help. Anyway, over here, you're quite good at shooting. We're definitely gonna want to arm you with stuff. Let's get you. Um, you know what? We're gonna get this machine pistol over here. And yeah, mining and crafting in particular. It's very exciting that you are good at that. What? Hold on a sec. St chemical fascination, staggeringly ugly. Man, that is so mean. Um, firefight, patient, bed rest, and then flicking. You are not terribly good at wardening. I think I think I'll leave it off. Animal handling, no. We could pause, probably leave your hunting on. Now, the question is, do we leave mining above Smith Taylor Craft? We've got plenty to be mined, but I think this person's really gonna be. I can probably leave the hunting on because it doesn't matter right now. We don't have anything flagged for it. Um, but you're really here to be a crafter. You've got double passion for it. You don't have the, like, you're only skill four right now, but that'll go up pretty fast. You're getting dressed. Excellent. And then you're going to go and make some pants and things like that. I think I'm very excited for it. You don't have medical skill, do you? Uh, medical. Oh, medical zero. No, that's too bad. Cause you, so you also can't make medicine for us, but yeah, you'll be able to craft things. And I'm very excited about that. You might do art. You might do different stuff. Cool. All right. Well, we're going to put a... Is this a statue that was started by Torn Asunder? So this will never get finished, so we can go and cancel that. Okay. Poor Torn Asunder. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you guys next time.